The din of the last week reached an absolute crescendo today with the second impeachment of Donald Trump, the US president. But if you happened to have been paying attention to the inaugural Mike McCracken lecture on full employment, you would have heard whispers from the future too. Two central bankers, one from the United States, one from Canada, were talking about how economic policy making is changing at the highest levels. Lael Brainerd channeled the spirit of Mike McCracken with her opening words on uh, her lecture, which said, lifting the lives of working people is at the heart of economic policy making. Well, if that doesn't sound like central bank talk to you, you should know that monetary policy frameworks are changing in both the United States and in Canada, and increasingly more weight is being put on the experience of people's lives, especially people that are being left behind and systemically disadvantaged. And that brings Carolyn Wilkins into the picture. She comes in as the outgoing senior deputy governor of the Bank of Canada. And between the two of them, Lael Brainerd and Carolyn Wilkins, was this kind of soul searching discussion on what does central banking look like in the early 21st century? And how should it be aligning with fiscal policies? Carolyn Wilkins talked about the marriage between fiscal and monetary policy. And I gotta say, they just started dating. So I'm not sure about the marriage, but what's really important to understand is how the placement of people at the heart of economic policy making is becoming more and more important, not just stable prices, not just profits, but how are workers doing in the new economic world order. And that really lifts up the spirit of Mike McCracken, who has had always maintained in the course of his life that lowering unemployment remains the central goal of the economy. The future of workers is the future for everyone.